race seven, a conditioned pace. Here's the field. Number one is Scratch. The post parade begins with number two, Come On Cookie, with Greg Haston. Then the three, Gabrielle, who has a change of drivers, to John Campbell. Four is Justin Lynn with Chip Noble in the bike. Number five, Wish I Was a Cowboy, Ron Steck. Rumba, number six, the driver, Dale Bartley. And number seven, Bangaroo with Brian Barnes. Exacta and trifecta wagering on this seventh race. You have five minutes remaining until post. They're off in pacing, and Gabrielle is first away, but Wish I Was a Cowboy is also there, and Come On Cookie gets out racing in the third spot, followed by Justin Lynn, Rumba, and Bangaroo will be the early trailer. Everyone starts to settle single file, with the exception of Wish I Was a Cowboy. He's still parked on the outside, now he moves up into the second spot. They approach the quarter mile mark, and Gabrielle has the lead by almost two. Wish I Was a Cowboy now drops in second, Come On Cookie third, Justin Justin Lynn is fourth, 28 and two for the opening quarter. Everyone traveling single file on the back stretch. Then Rumba back next to last is biting time near the back along with Bangaroo, who is just behind her as everyone continues to follow Gabrielle all the way down the back stretch toward the half. She's got the lead by about a length and a half now to wish I was a cowboy traveling in second spot. And come on, Cookie is still there in third position. They've just reached the half in a time of 57 and two. Then Justin Lynn, then Rumba next to last, and then Bangaroo the trailer. In single file formation, they move to the final turn with Bangaroo moving from dead last and Justin Lynn coming off the rail from the center of the pack. But Gabrielle is still the one to catch on the lead by a length and a quarter. Wish I was a cowboy has more or less had the perfect journey at least for the last half mile or so. He's still sitting in the second spot. Then come on, Cookie is third. Justin Lynn kind of hanging in fourth. Doesn't have enough pace yet to catch those top three. Off three quarters and 127. Then Bangaroo, then Rumba last. Into the stretch. Wish I was a cowboy. Not working hard enough to catch Gabrielle. Gabrielle still has him by a length. Wish I was a cowboy is still second. He goes under the whip and Gabrielle goes under the whip it'll be a driving finish and wish I was a cowboy now kicks on for home and he will get the win wish I was a cowboy wins it in 55 by almost a length over Gabrielle then Bangaroo got third and in today's seventh race Number five, Wish I Was a Cowboy, was first. Number three, Gabrielle, was second. And number seven, Bangaroo, was third. 537, the unofficial trifecta, the time 155. And the result is official on the seventh race. Returning track side is number five, Wish I Was a Cowboy, owned by First Score Racing Stable of Delaware, Ohio. Bred by Marvin Gross, trained by Ron Potter, driven by Ron Steck to the win in 155. A new lifetime record by a tick for this Falcon Almerhurst, Ohio sired performer. Return prices will be posted in just a moment for that seventh race. Return price is posted now with a 5.3 exacta, $8.20, 5.37 on the try, $13.20. 13 minutes to post on the upcoming eighth race. This will start the late double. There are no scratches, no driver changes in the eighth race. A reminder that the morning line odds on the two horse low places should be shown as nine to five for the morning line. Checking the ninth race, in the ninth race, scratch the four, Holly Hill Bow, 
and put Kurt Sugg down on the seven. Super Pan, Kurt Sugg drives the seven. Next post in 13 minutes.